Hello everyone, this is Up 2 and welcome to another data pack overview, this time on Corrupted Lands. A data pack that simply adds the ability for you to use Fungi and a Diamond to then corrupt the world. So you just make them like so, and you get a Structure Void-like item, then an Advancement to let you know, and then from there the world will become corrupted. Now there is three different speeds. Um, there's, it, sorry, four. There's a regular, double, five times, and 100. I've gone with 100 just to make it easier to show, and also to show how crazy fast it can get. But, uh, yeah, so we'll make the following like so. Consume it, and you can see. The following has been set up. We've got the advancement and we'll see corruption applying fairly fast around us and that should be an actual yep so yeah you now have to obviously survive with the following corruption around you i don't know if this will convert every single thing um I'd like to make it exactly like the nether but uh yeah, it will obviously add a lot of the new 116 blocks and change the dimension you're in. Uh, while this is in the overworld, I will try in other dimensions just to see if it works that way. As you can see, a fair amount of corruption is appearing fairly fast. Um, it just depends where. Anyway. So we'll try a different dimension and see if that works, or it's just that it's restricted to, say, um, use doing it once, and that's about it. So we'll try in the um, end, obviously, as uh, that's the only dimension we haven't tried that will mostly apply these blocks, at least. The nether, it'll obviously most likely already have them, but we'll also try and see if it will apply them, I guess, just in case. Um, again, this only works on 116, so it's not likely to apply such things if it doesn't have access to the following new fungi added. Um, so we'll go to a stronghold and try there. Go to spectator for this. And if I have to, I will go to another world and create it that way if it doesn't actually work this way via the dimension. And I can only apply it once. Okay. So want a crafting table. So it's given to me that. Okay, so we may need to create a new world for this, just to see. Because it may only just apply in said world. So we'll go to another one. Go to creative. We'll have to carry across this one over to that newly created world. And we'll reload just in case. After doing so, and we'll apply it to the end and see if it works in other dimensions. I'm not sure if I'd be able to go and uninstall and then reload and otherwise, as it has already applied the blocks mostly by that point in the world. I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll probably best to experiment on that. So we'll go to Spectator, find the portal if I can, because I always struggle to find it in every single stronghold. Uh, here we go. So not a single iron here. And a witch. Table with 
a diamond and the two new fungi. I haven't enabled the data pack yet, so that's fine. List. All the mods are available, that's fine. We'll reload the game now that we've actually applied the data pack. And we probably should be able to see it appear there, and it has. And we can now do it. Unless it doesn't work in the end. Nope, it does actually activate. Does it work in the end though? I don't know. We will see, unless it has to focus on other particular blocks and it doesn't focus on endstone at all, which we might be seeing here. Okay. Something's not responding, so we don't know. My guess is that it usually needs to convert other types of blocks. Uh, which if we actually look inside it, we'll see, so function, crimson, warped, and so on, uh, tags, blocks, here we go, leaves and flowers, so that's why, that's what it needs to actually convert, which there isn't any in the end, and in terms of the nether, I'm assuming it won't either, so you've got the overworld flowers there, and you've got leaves from all regular trees, so, yeah, it's probably not going to work in the nether or end as it's focusing on overworld specific stuff. Unless we maybe place some in the end, but I don't think that'll change anything at all anytime soon. Um, we'll get to see a sapling or something. Some bone meal. And try that. And I'm assuming it won't change anything. Unless I probably did it. Okay, so it will. Okay, I was wrong. Um, I'm assuming it won't in the overworld at this point then, maybe? I'm not sure. Again, I'm assuming it's applied per, per dimension, or maybe just anything it has in contact with, or in play of view. I'm not too sure. We'll go out of the... or unless you still have the item on you, in this situation. Which we will... actually... game rule, keep inventory this. We will get out of the end, and we'll try, say, so just putting, say, any regular new sapling down, getting some bone meal, like so, and nothing. So it may be bound to dimensions or when you activated it only. I don't know of the radius or range that it actually applies this effect, but either way, probably best to experiment. Thanks.